Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the new printer that I ended up getting for myself. I have reviewed many different printers and I have now come to the conclusion or I've come to a choice of a printer that I am specifically choosing. The current printer that I have, I purchased quickly and without thought. It was just the easiest way for me to get my hands on a printer. That is the Epson Workforce 4740. And although it has been a very functional printer for me, it is getting to the point where I need something new and I need something a little bit better. So before I share with you the printer that I ended up getting for myself, I did want to quickly go into some of the channel business. First off, if this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. If you have any questions at all about anything here in the video, comment below. There will be links in the description below for the printer or any other products that I end up talking about in this video. And lastly, if you want more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I ended up getting the HP OfficeJet Pro Premier. Now, why did I go with this one? I have reviewed the Epson EcoTanks. I've reviewed the HP Smart Tanks. I've reviewed most of the Canon models that are out on the market right now, all of the Epson, uh, most of the HPs. Uh, what pointed me in this direction to get this printer were a few different factors. This is, of course, a specialty, if you want to say limited edition version of the HP OfficeJet series. So that's the first thing. That's the primary reason I went with the Premier rather than the 9015 or 8025. And the, the Premier would actually be very similar to, it's just the limited edition version of the HP OfficeJet 9015 or 9025. So I have become familiar with this printer uh, because of the review that I've done in the past. And that was a while ago, but I ended up buying this printer. I ended up buying a similar version. I ended up buying the the HP OfficeJet 8025 uh, for a family member, and I set it up for them, and I really got to see them use it. And I've seen that it is a very, very good printer. It is very functional. It is easy to use, and it looks really good in an office setting. That's what I want for my office. Uh, my office does fit a certain aesthetic, and this printer fits that criteria. It is going to match rather than the HP workforce that I currently have that is very much a standard looking printer and it looks kind of clunky in my opinion. Now aside from the look of things, the overall platform and interface that the HP printers use, the functionality of the HP app and just the smoothness of the technology is another aspect of it, another reason why I'm going in this direction. A third aspect. Uh, that I came to know actually once I received the printer, I didn't really look into it, was I am going to be receiving two years of ink. Now, if you look in the description below, there's a link for this printer. Primarily, that's what I'm going to be promoting in this video. However, the price is kind of high on this printer, and it's because you are getting two years worth of ink delivered to you. So for two years, I'm not going to have to purchase ink remanufactured or regular ink, which I do highly recommend remanufactured ink most of the time. I'm not going to need to do that for the next two years because I'm covered with the purchase price that I ended up purchasing this printer for. And you could check that in the link below. So that is a third benefit to me purchasing this version of the HP OfficeJet Pro series. This version is also a high capacity, so you have a lot more documents that you can fit. What I found with my Workforce 4740, the Epson printer that I have, is that I had two different paper trays and I only ever use one. So I do use high capacity, but I don't need two different paper trays. It, it gets confusing uh, in the settings and I have to switch things back and forth. I would rather just have one good, reliable paper tray that is holding a high capacity of paper. Or if I wanna throw some photos or some label pages on there, it is very simple. It's just the one paper tray I have to deal with. Now I did have to make sure that this printer had an automatic document feeder because that's something I really do need. Of course, it has a, a standard uh, glass scanner. And then it does have the touch screen, which is really nice, which my workforce also has. Now, quickly, of course, I do have to promote my product. If you have a printer that is not printing a certain color, or you have choppy prints or faded prints, and you've tried everything through your printer settings, the next solution that you're gonna have is to use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Instead of going out and having to buy a new printer with a new set of ink, you can simply use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit to solve 
the problem on your current printer so that you can continue printing and so you can save any ink that you have along with your current printer. So I did really want to make this video. I don't want to keep this a secret because I want you to know what I'm buying and why I'm buying it for. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to buy it. Uh, just because I bought something and I have all my reasons for having bought this printer does not mean that you are gonna fit the same criteria. You may be in a different criteria, you may have a different circumstance. Uh, all I've tried to do with this YouTube channel is save you money, save you hassle and time with my recommendations, with my repair videos, uh, with my reviews of certain aspects of the printers and it has been all encompassing and so i hope that this video really was helpful to you i am very excited to have this printer uh, it's going to look really nice here in the office and i'm going to be getting rid of this printer which has served its purpose it has run the course and it did well i was able to run some remanufactured ink in it for you know the duration of its lifetime but it's getting towards the end now and uh I'm gonna end up selling it. But it's a very standard printer. You know, I need something that's a little bit more sleek. I'm probably gonna be using the HP app a lot more often. And I don't believe I have an HP app um, tutorial on this, on this channel, so I probably will be coming out with that soon. No promises. But there will be a unboxing, print quality test, repair video, and how to install the ink. There will be all of those videos linked below the link for the printer and the cleaning kit will be the links for all the videos that I end up coming out with, reviewing, testing, and showing you how to fix this printer if it comes down to it. All right, again, any questions, comment below. I really appreciate it if you're subscribed. Uh, you really do mean a lot to this channel. It is growing like I never imagined it would grow. We're, we're about to hit, we're probably getting close to hitting 20,000 subscribers now and so with that if you're not already subscribed join us anything printer related you know your questions that you comment below can turn into potential videos i have done that in the past where if you have a certain question that fits the criteria for me i may be able to create a video so you get a lot of value out of this channel and i hope that no matter what i end up helping you in one way or another that's all i have for now thank you guys so much for watching and until next time